Welcome back to another quick and dirty video. This time we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to do a program called VRAMer at Skyrim Special Edition for its requirements. BSA browser, but it's not a hard requirement as it's included. 64 redistributable. We did another video. .NET Desktop Runtime X64. You'll click the link. It'll take you to this page. Now you want this one. .NET Desktop Runtime right here. You want the X64 version. Okay, grab that. Run the program. Don't tell them about yourself. It's the government. They're trying to trick you. No, I'm kidding. All right, once it pops up, you should just see install, follow the prompts. If you've already installed it, but it starts acting wrong, you can just download it again, and you'll get this little pop-up that says repair. Now, since I just did this about 10 minutes ago, the first time I shot this video, I'm not going to bother doing it again. Okay? Okay. So we're going to close that. Yes, we want to cancel. All right, so we're going to go back here to VRAMer. We're going to go to the Files tab, and we're going to Mod Manager. Download this. We got that. We got that. We got that. Download. Well, okay, not, we didn't get the first one, it's included, but you know what I mean. Now, once it's installed, you're going to go to your dashboard, you're going to hit plus, you're going to add new, because this is obviously not a tool that came with it, and you're going to call it, oops, not VRAMer, VRAMer. You're going to go to your target line. You're going to go to your Skyrim Special Edition folder. So D, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Skyrim Special Edition. Go to your data, and you're looking for the VRAMer folder, and you want this one right here get that funky little stuff popping up you hit open you hit save now this is something I'm gonna tell you now that you do not run until you have every texture that you want installed this will be the last thing you run the folder it puts out will be the last thing that loads okay that's very important this will be the last thing you run and the folder it puts out when you drop it into here will be the very last thing that loads so let's go ahead and fire it up so you can see it so VRAMer pops up, you get this handy little guide here on the right that pops up. Now I suggest using your arrow keys before you start using this and actually read this. Because it lets you know it's going to take a while. It lets you know the thing I told you about the C drive, which is don't use your C drive for the output folder. This is a lot of useful information in this little pop-up. Read that first, very important. Then you come over here, you select your quality. If you have a potato, one, you shouldn't be running modded Skyrim, but try the vanilla, it might help. Personally, I always do H for high quality. Now, once you pick your quality, you get this pop-up. So, like I said, do not pick C. It says here in this that you could even pick a thumb drive. Like in this, in this little information box, it tells you you could even pick a thumb drive if you want, just not the C drive. I always pick my D drive. Okay, and then I hit OK, and I'll let this run. Now, this takes a while, so go get yourself a snack, maybe a nap, uh, whatever you want to do. But it, uh, it warns you over here in the information thing that be patient. It, it takes a while. Even with no mods installed, you saw what I have installed right now, which is essentially nothing. This still takes quite a bit, so I'm going to cut that out. Once VRAMer has finished loading, the last screen you're going to get will be this green screen. It tells you here at the bottom, VRAMer has finished, put drag and drop, blah, 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 into... <laughs> anyway, VRAMer is finished, put the VRAMer into your mod manager, press any key, and any key will close it for you. Then you open up where you sent it to. For me, it's D drive. You're just going to take this folder and drop it down into the drop file section. Now, again, before you do this, I'm going to say it one more time before the video ends. This will be the last thing you run. When you drop the file in, it's going to have conflicts. It will load after everything it conflicts with because this is just your compressed textures to improve performance. If you are not having performance issues with your FPS related to your textures and your system struggling, I would honestly say don't even use VRAMer. But this might be a tool that is useful for people that are having an issue with the game loading due to all of the quality textures they downloaded. Very, very helpful highly recommended for those that need it. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next quick and dirty video.